Hello, teachers, and welcome back. This is now lesson six of six of unit one, and this is now our review unit. Let's take a look. Wow, there are a lot of pages here, and this is a lot of content to have to review. Now, obviously, you're not going to be spending equal time on everything. Luckily enough, a lot of the grammar points are repeated. Luckily enough, uh, the vocabulary is repeated, but it is your job to make sure that everything is well covered in this unit, because of course, the next unit may very well be a test unit. So in the first five minutes, when your students are coming into the classroom and they're settling down, it's important for you as the teacher to make sure that they are aware that this is a review unit, and they really need to spend some time to concentrate on the content that you're going to be sharing with them. Also, you as the teacher need to be well focused because there really is no time to waste in this particular lesson. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into it. And I'm going to ask my students to stand up and simply read. All right, boys and girls, stand up, go to page 15 and read. And so the kids will then read the class rules. And this is basically just a focus exercise for them. Now, while they're reading that, I'm going to be writing the sentences on the board, okay? And what I might be doing is I'll ask maybe team A to read number one, team B to read number two, as I'm writing down. Um, and then we can also go to the individual as well. So once that's done, I'll ask the students then to sit down and I will then break it up into team A and team B, and then I'll ask a team to read one sentence and then give me the response. So team A, number one, listen to others, what's the response? Don't talk over someone. Now, if you remember, that is the response that we had from the previous lesson and it's important for you to review it. If you don't review this part, well then you shouldn't have taught it in the first place. Now, I'm not saying that you have to teach it, I'm saying that if you are going to teach extra content, then it's important for you then to review it. Otherwise, it becomes a waste of time. And then your students in the future might just simply ignore anything extra that you want to teach them. Okay, so now we've got our scores, team A and team B. They've, they've um, responded correctly. And you as the teacher have then checked up whether or not they retained that knowledge, if they remembered everything that you did teach them. Okay, so that's the conversation one, using class rules. Now the teacher will then clean up the board, that's no problem. And as you're cleaning it up, you can then erase sentence by sentence and the kids can read them out one more time as a class and really reinforce what you want to uh, cover. Okay, now we're moving on to our second reading. And that would then be for our cultural part. So I'm gonna make sure that everybody's focused in, everybody will read that through. And then we're gonna have uh, team A and team B, team A, B, C, team A, B, C, D, up to you. And we're gonna give them their points. Now I'm going to ask, for example, team A and B to stand up. And then team A will read, hello, I'm Alex. And I'll give them a couple of points. Team B, and I'm Lucy, we go to primary school in England. Okay, and I'll give them their points. As the students are reading out, I will also then write down the sentences on the board, just like I did the time before. And this way I'm saving a lot of time and I'm killing more than two birds with one stone. Okay, so now we've done the reading part. The students have read it out as a group or as an individual or as a class, and you've given them their points, boom. The target vocabulary is on the board. And of course, what we have is the negative as well. We go to primary school in England. We don't go to primary school in England. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then give the response just like we did previously. We don't go to primary school in England. We go to primary school in Jimin City, for example. Now we've got a full sentence, meaningful, meaningful responses to the questions that we're going to have. Now, at the beginning, I'm gonna have student A and B write, uh, read it out. So for example, Bob says, we don't go to primary school in England, we go to primary school in Ho Chi Minh City. Sally will then do number two. At school, we don't have an assembly every day. 
we have an assembly once a month. Okay, good job for Bob and Sally. And now I'm going to throw in the questions. And once we've got the questions, we can then do a conversation. We can do a full on graded conversation. And don't forget that in our conversation, we need to make sure that the responses are meaningful. So for example, um, if the students go to school in Hanoi, or if they go to school in Gauze, or if they go to school in uh, Gamao, that is what they need to replace in those sentence patterns. Okay, teachers, thank you very much for watching. I know it's a lot to take in. Uh, this is our review unit, so enjoy it and make the most of it. I'll see you in part two. Take care until then and bye-bye.